as does happen on occasion, I've had a print failure. Now, it seems to be a, a very similar pattern. The chin of the model, the bit that sticks out, just doesn't seem to print. I've had it on a couple of models, and I think it's down to my supports. So I'm going to fix that by adding some more supports there. But I'm left here now with a Black Widow model that I don't want to throw away because the rest of it's perfect. So I'm going to use some of this stuff. Now, this is green stuff from the Army Painter, and it's brilliant stuff, and it allows you to repair your print. Now, how does it work? Well, there's a blue and a yellow strip, as you can see, and you take the same amount of each and you mix them together and you mix them together real good until it turns into a green colour. And that's why it's called green stuff. And what it does then, it's like putty. It allows you to mould and shape an item. And then once you've got to the um, shape that you want and the uh, image that you want, you leave it and it hardens and then you can paint it and it basically it repairs your model. Now doing a chin, I've never really done a chin repair before and I, I didn't really know how to start so I put a dollop on and I used my thumb and I just used uh, my eye and I just shaped the uh, the green stuff into this sort of shape as I would expect that Scarlett Johansson's chin should look. I did have a look at a couple of reference pictures as well and um, I put it on there. Now I think this is going to be trial and error. You're going to find that sometimes you try this and it fails miserably and other times you're absolutely gobsmacked by how good it comes out. And the other thing you can do with green stuff really well is you can get some tools. You can use anything. You can use pens, you can use little knives, you can use little rubber tools and you can shape this and mould it. And if it gets a little bit firm, just wet it and mould it and shape it. And there you go. So I've pushed it around the face as best I can and I've smeared it out. And I'm using a simple spoon, not the one I was born with, before anyone says anything. Um, and I'm just going to use that to pull and poke and adjust it. Now, you know, I only used a spoon because it was to hand really, but you could use anything you like. And for me, this was a trial because it meant that if it didn't work, the Black Widow was going in the bin and that was going to be some wasted resin. So I've given it a go. I've put it all in. I've shaped it as best I can. And uh, well, what do you think? What do you think of that? Well, let's leave it alone for, I left it for 24 hours and uh, we came back to it and uh, it didn't look too bad. I've took some sandpaper, some uh, high grit sandpaper, and this is 120 and then I moved up to 240 and I just rubbed it down and rubbed it down to try to smooth the join in. Now, I'm not going to lie, it does not look perfect, but... Um, it was this or throw the model away and I'm so so glad I didn't throw the model away because what I want to show you now is the end result and what it turns out like. Now like I said this is not a perfect model but sure to be thrown in the bin I think you'll agree that it was well worth persevering to save Scarlett Johansson the Black Widow. Now, if you're interested in how I did paint it, I will do a full video showing the painting process. Um, and again, I'm going to just stipulate that this is not perfect by a long shot. But I think you'll agree it's come out really, really well. And for me, I've not really done a Black Widow for a, or for a very long time. And it gave me a chance to practice it, gave me a chance to have a look at how I do the eyes, how I did the hair, how I did the eyebrows and the uniform. And I'm, I'm really, really chuffed how it came out. And like I said, it was either throw her in the bin or fix her with a bit of the green stuff so i i hope you agree that i've done the right thing and i hope you find this video useful stay tuned for more videos from greedy 3d mm -hmm.